The unmet need that mind science is trying to address is kind of a wide uh, umbrella. First and foremost is trying to provide a better access to care by being a, a remote platform, both for monitoring and assessment. And it's part of our DNA from day one, which you know, was a few years back. Obviously, the COVID crisis and the advent of telehealth being more prominent is to mitigate health inequity, providing a better access to care and hopefully a better delivery of care and improve outcomes. Patients, when they are feeling down, they may not feel they are worthy of help or that they can be helped or that there's any hope for getting better. And these can also be barriers to them seeking mental health treatment. There's also the barrier of cost and availability. The long waiting list can be very off-putting. The mission of uh, Mind Science is to develop uh, secure, trusted products for brain health, improve the patient journey, which is always difficult uh, in mental health, empower the provider-patient relationship, and hopefully create productivity gains and manage costs for the healthcare provider and the patient. We have developed algorithms to analyze uh, large quantities of data in an objective manner. And these algorithms are modular, meaning that they consist of many small modules which analyze different aspects of the data. We can actually understand how an algorithm makes decisions because we can investigate each module separately. Giving clinicians accurate and reliable data on their patients is how we can remotely monitor them and give patients the insight to make better decisions about their care. So this will involve tracking quantitative and qualitative information. The qualitative will be much more subjective, asking the patients how they feel, how their day's gone, and the quantitative will be much more objective and concrete uh, numbers. These will be taken from smartphone data, perhaps uh, looking at their screen time, which apps they use, how much they sleep, as well as perhaps analyzing their voice and facial expressions to their mood as well. GenMind is a remote monitoring and assessment software for cognitive and negative symptoms uh, that are associated with certain indications in, in mental health. And it's used outside the doctor's office. And we monitor the symptom trajectory. And if they're off the baseline given, then we'll send an alert to the provider who can then decide whether he or she is going to intervene. The algorithms for GenMind have been trained on hundreds of hours of data, specifically interviews between patients and psychiatrists. And these algorithms investigate different types of behaviors in the patients. They investigate, for instance, facial expressions, body movements, how patients speak, and what they speak about. After the users sign in, there is a daily consent page where the user um, will have to provide their consent of being recorded for that day. If they click a set, in the background, we will record their calls that they make out from their mobile phone and we'll analyse it in the back end. Um, from there, we derive insights to provide it to the provider dashboards to aid them with symptom monitoring, um, diagnostic triage, as well as um, decision making. If the patient or the user decides to not be recorded for the day, what we will do is then show questions for them to uh, record their moods, their daily activities, as well as their feelings and thoughts. We're able to do a triage assessment along different indications with a fairly high level of accuracy, which is clinically relevant. Neurobrowser is a cloud-based automated EEG software platform to monitor, interpret and analyze EEG signals coming from different environments, from the ICU to the EMU, which is the epilepsy monitoring unit, to ambulatory at-home care, which is more and more uh, something that the providers are trying to do is move people out of the uh, acute care uh, environment into a more chronic care management. We have developed algorithms to analyze EEG in an automated fashion. So the algorithms are modular, combine information from each individual channel and each short time segment, typically one second up to 10 seconds. Data protection, security is priority one of mind science because of the patient population we deal with at risk patients. So we're very careful of how we manage that data how we use that data and how we get rid of that data once it's been, been analyzed. We are dealing with a patient as well as healthcare provider and their data is uh, as important as it gets. So what we do is basically throughout the life cycle of the data, we follow the best practices. So there are two aspects of it. One is encryption, uh, another is authentication. So we make sure that the data is always secure, uh, encrypted uh, using the strongest algorithms and at the same time we keep it authenticated so that only the authorized user can access their data. The future vision for mind science is 
to continue to develop relevant products for both clinician, patients, or healthcare providers. And one of the things that uh, we're looking at right now is how do we combine what we do with the neural browser with what we do with GenMind. Could the combination of EEG signals alongside cognitive deficit assessment be useful for mild traumatic brain injuries or repeated concussions and eventually CT, the chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and all the neurological deficits that ensue from that and the cognitive deficit. So we're trying to see if we at MindScience, with our platform that both looks at the brain circuitry but also uh, mental health uh, negative symptoms and cognitive symptoms, if we can help and say anything that's relevant clinically for both providers and patients. If we were able to spark an interest or you're just a little bit curious, we would love to talk to you. We've been fortunate to work with collaborators, clinicians in Singapore, and now we're looking for collaborators, advisors, just people that are interested in what we're doing and want to come with us on this journey to impact healthcare in a meaningful way without the hype.